he likes to get naked. And he, he said on one of his videos, everybody gets, everybody's naked around the campfire and you know, you're just naked, it's, it's normal. No, you're not, you're never naked. Nobody is ever naked, but Richard Hatch or maybe Tyson. What's up guys? So season 40 is coming soon. Today is Sunday. I should drop this today, tonight sometimes. And Wednesday, uh, season 40 starts. Now they have 18 players, 18 that didn't get uh, a chance to play, 18 winners. Uh, I'm going to break down these winners uh, with the ones I knew wouldn't play and never play again from 18 to number one. And of course, the top seven or whatever are players that I would have liked to see play again. Uh, some that I can't even believe that uh, they're not on this cast. Because you could have made the cast better. For sure they could have made the cast better. But they chose the, uh, the, the ones they went with and that's what we get to see. So I'm gonna start with number 18. I'm gonna try to go through this list pretty quick so we can get the video in one, so you can check it all out uh, at once. First one is Brian from season five. Now, Brian, what is it? Brian Hidlick? He's the one that I said would never play, one of the ones I said would never play again. He's at the very bottom of the list because I know for sure he'll never be out there again. If you watch one of my videos in uh, Survivors that's been arrested or Survivors that will never play again, he's on the list. Uh, he uh, shot a dog with a bow and arrow, a bunch of different other things. And uh, you could check out that YouTube if you'd like. So just saying that, you know, of course, he'll never play again. We'll go to number 17, and that is JT. JT Thompson from season 18. JT, again, I said would never play this game again. P people were like, oh, why you say JT won't ever play? JT was one of the most popular to ever play the game at one point. He was super popular uh, when he played his season, when he won his season in night, season 18, Token Chains. He was, uh, you know, hugely popular. Uh, he was well liked. And then his last time he played, uh, he got in a little trouble and CBS had to literally, literally bail him out of trouble. So uh, because of that, I mean, they have people that talk bad sometimes uh, about CBS or Jeff or uh, SEG, which is Survivor. Uh, people may talk bad about them and say different things. A lot of it uh, gets pushed to the side and you see him play again. You know, uh, somebody like JT, I don't think he will ever play again because and we all make mistakes, trust me. Uh, he let all that stuff get to the get the best of him. I let it get the best of me. First three times I played, I was an idiot. I was an idiot after the game. I, you know, I was drinking too much. I was, uh, you know, I, but I can look in the mirror and say that. Sometimes you have to be able to do that. And JT made a mistake, a big enough mistake to where uh, that's it. His survival career is over. So we'll move on. Number 16, that's Cochran. I, I, I think they, they would have played Cochran. I think they may have tried to call Cochran, but I also said that he would never play again. And uh, I think that's because he directly works with CBS. Nothing that he's done. Uh, I think Cochran is truly finished with the game anyway. He take he take you know he's gonna take his his win and retire, which is fine. You can do that. Okay, that's number sixteen. Number fifteen, we have Mike Holloway. Now I don't think I have Mike on my list of players that would never play again, but I don't think he'll ever play ever because uh, again he was one that not as much trouble as JT, but he got in a little bit of trouble. This, I don't know for a fact. I'm only, uh, the JT thing, I know pretty much for a fact. Uh, Mike, I just think that maybe he uh, let let the game get the best of him. Like I said, it happens to us. It happened to me. 
and uh, he let the the wind get to him. He let all that get to him, and maybe he'll say it one day to himself. And uh, then we'll know. That's when you, you know, if he did that, if he came out and he was like, okay, you know, I went through this time in my life. I'm moving on from it. I'm gonna be a better person, a better man, you know. Uh, then, then that's different. And he's someone that can actually do that. That can come out and say he's gonna be a better person. Uh, you know, and, and just, and then CBS would be like, okay, well, we'll give him another shot. But he didn't do anything, I don't think, directly to CBS. I just think that he uh, started partying a lot, you know, basically. So now we have, uh, where are we at? Number 14. Uh, Holly, Mike Holloway, season 30. He ain't on the list. Number 14. Just Play, Tommy, season 39. Terrible season. Horrible season tragedy it's never should have been aired the way they did it with sandra and rob was terrible a lot of people don't like the edge of extinction stuff uh he wins a season that was so uh overwhelmed by uh you know sexual assault and by touching that kind of thing i i know some of the details uh, you seen me never talk about it. I did that for a reason. I don't want to get involved in uh, something like that. It's just, uh, it's bad. It's b best for, for people like me that actually may play again to stay out of that. So I, that's what I've decided to do. But I don't think he'll ever play again because he, that cloud is over him. Which is sad because he didn't do anything but win, you know. Uh, but he's on the list. I don't think he'll ever play again because it's it's that uh, the cloud of that season that everybody want just to, wants to forget about. That's it. He won't play again. Or I mean, it's terrible. He probably should have a shot, but he won't. Now we have number thirteen that one that uh, that is on the list, and that is uh, Chris Underwood, season thirty eight. Now he seems like a great guy. Seems like an amazing person. Uh, outside the game, I'm sure he is. But when he comes in the game, uh, you, you know, a lot of people are like, he didn't deserve the win. He made a great move by, uh, he knew he didn't deserve the win. So what he did was made that move to say, okay, I put myself in a position to uh, to where I could, this is a big move for me. And if I win making fire, then I deserved the, the win. But the thing is with that game, it's, it's such a mental game. And the whole part of the game is the the long, drawn-out affair 24-7 of you mentally playing the game. It's, it's the hardest part of the game by far. And he didn't have to do that. Uh, that's why he doesn't get the respect because he didn't have to do that. He just came in after he was sitting down on ed, ed, you know edge of extinction. But that was the game he played. That was the season he played. He didn't have to do all that. It's a, it's, that's a different type of survivor. It's a different survivor, you know, and, and that's what we're going to have to start dealing with uh, as we get further into survivor is uh, playing it differently due to the theme or whatever, whoever we're dealing with. Blood and water. You got to play survivor different with blood and water. You, you have your relative. You have, I would have probably have my daughter out there. So there's no way I'm stabbing her in the back. That ain't happening. And I would think that she wouldn't stab me in the back. So, so then you have an aspect of the game where you have to protect that person. You know, in his game, he played the game to where uh, he, the, he didn't have to play uh, mentally. He just come back in, win a challenge, come back in, and bam, he's in the game, he wins. So I don't think that he's uh, – he, I think he may play again, but I don't know if I said he wouldn't. But I don't think, I think that he's just not in winners because of that. Now, that's what this list is about, winners. I don't want to get off of who won't play again and who will play again. The bottom half of this, I don't think will play ever again. Uh, but that's not what this is about. This is about uh, why these people didn't play winners. And uh, most of them probably would play again. Now, number 12, Jenna Maraska from season six. She got in a little bit of trouble too. It's crazy because when you look at this list and you look at my list 
of people that got arrested for something, people that uh, that I thought would never play again. Put those two lists together, and they're all on this list. The people that can't be controlled or that's been in recent trouble aren't or not playing season 40. That's because season 39 happened. You, uh, Old Richard has, has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. He talks about how... Uh, he talks uh, uh, you know, negatively about me, but I never talked negatively about, Rich, uh, about Richard. Uh, I don't know where all that came from, and I did a YouTube on it. You can check that out, too. But, uh, you know, Jenna, she, uh, she got into some trouble. So I think that uh, that's why she's not playing again. They want it safe. Now, I was saying Richard was talking about how uh, they called him, and then they, they uh, called him back and said, forget about it. I don't even think Richard was playing winners. I think he was playing in a different season when they called him back and said, forget about it. Because uh, they would have never wanted to call him for season 30, 30 I mean, season 40, I'm sorry, because of what happened in season 39. All the uh, Philly touchy stuff that happened in season 39, allegedly, uh, that uh, hurt his chances in playing season 40. I don't think he was, he was got a call to, to play season 40. I think he got a call to play... I mean, he got a call to play season 40, but not winners. It was going to be something else. He was involved in that, but when they decided to do winners, they took him out because they wanted everyone that's safe. They wanted a safe season because of season 39. Now, everybody I named so far are not that safe. I mean, Chris Underwood, he's safe. Tommy, he's safe. John Cochran, he's safe. I mean, but I'm just saying that these people, uh, most of them aren't, uh, that I'm about to name, the rest of them, and a few of them aren't yes men and women. They don't do what they're told properly. So because of season 39, they needed something that they could get away with and wouldn't have to worry anymore. All right, number 11, Eris, season 12. I don't know. He's he's getting in that he'll play again probably. He could easily play again, but uh, you know I don't have much to say about him. Uh, they just chose someone different, I guess. I guarantee you he was on that right on the list to to be able to play. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he's not, but they chose to go different, so that's what they did. Number ten, Earl from season fourteen. I've heard Earl a few times was about to play. And uh, this time, I don't think it's Earl's fault. Uh, I don't think it's CBS. It's nobody's fault that these people won't play. And they just win a different route. Well, it is a few people's fault. But uh, they, they uh, Earl, I think he just had a baby or something. I heard that he got the call and he turned it down. So Earl's won. I think Cochran also may have, may have got a call turned it down or maybe they talked to him previously and he said he wouldn't play but Earl got the call I heard and he turned it down because something to deal with uh his he has a new child something like that all right number nine Chris from C from season nine uh, again he is the type of player that I could easily easily see play again I'm a little shocked that he wasn't out there uh, but an, again, he's at the bottom of that scale to where they say, okay, who are we going to do, Adam or Chris? Or, you know, because I can guarantee you he was on the scale too. They have the ones that were playing for sure, and then they had the ones, they probably had a list out. And then the ones at the bottom of that list were like, okay, do we have them play or not? Uh, now, we're getting into the level to where I'm pretty shocked that these people aren't out there. Uh, like number eight. Tom Westman. Now, in the game, uh, we had a little rival, not much of anything. Uh, he, you know, he, he was. It was most of his stuff with Tom was uh, outside the game, really. When it, when heroes versus villains, we started doing things, but never anything serious with Tom. I think that he should have played. I'm a little shocked that he didn't. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, he, again, he's on the bottom edge of that maybe he should have played maybe he shouldn't uh you, you know between these uh bottom level people from season 40 that they wasn't sure about 
uh, let's replace them with someone like Tom or someone like Chris. I'm sure those talks went down. They just decided not to go with Tom. A lot of people were probably shocked. Why isn't Tom out there? He was super likable. Uh, everybody loved him. So he probably barely missed it too. Okay, number seven. I'd like to see her play again. Season 19, Natalie White. She's the one to beat me. I've always said, it, you know, there's a flaw in the game, flaw in the system with all this because uh, someone like her can win. So I would have loved to see her actually go out there and play the game. I could tell you what would happen. She would go out there and she would do nothing again. But I wanted to see it happen. Uh, now, when it comes to... I've always known that Natalie would have played. She always told me that she would have, she would play again. Uh, I knew she, she loved all the stuff that went with it. Uh, it's pretty exciting when you get all the opportunities you get when you play. Uh, so... I think she would have played again. Now, did she get a call? I don't know. I know she has kids now. She's married with kids. But a lot of them uh, are married with kids. Poverty has a new baby. Uh, Kim has a bunch of babies. So, you know, a lot of them uh, are married with kids. So, I don't know. I don't even know if they were able to get in touch with Natalie, to tell you the truth. So, I don't know if they even asked her. Uh, they might have just said, forget about it, because it was too tough to get in touch with the girl. Nobody can get in touch with her these days. Uh, she ain't even on social media. It's like her husband got her on lockdown. <laughs> kind of like the guy she played with on Survivor. Lockdown. Anyway, we'll move on. All right, <laughs> number number six. We have, I want to see this guy play again. Again, another person. Six, Fabio, season 21. Tell, I mean, why wouldn't you want to see Fabio play again? You know? It's, it's, it's a little shocking that Fabio is not playing to me. Now we're getting to the top six, the top five, to where these are, I'm like, they easily could have took some at one spot and probably should have. Fabio's well known. He's, well, he's super popular. He did get in some legal trouble. Again, there you go. <laughs> the, this list is full of a list that I've already did with the legal trouble thing. So Fabio got in a little bit of trouble. Not much of nothing, though, like skate, uh, drinking while skateboarding or something stupid like that. Uh, so, you know, I know that that if he, they would have called him, he would have played. Not sure what went on there. I'd like to see him play again. Okay, top five. This top five here are the people that how come they're not playing, period. Like, what is up? Number five, well, I would like to see him play again, and that's Todd, season five, I mean, season 15, number five, Todd, he's recently in all that trouble, he was on Dr. Phil, he, uh, you know, playing it safe here, but I thought that he is doing better, I thought he's, uh, he had a battle with, with alcoholism, and I thought he was beating it, as far as I knew, so I thought that somebody like CBS would take that in perspective and say, we're going to, you know, we're going to get behind you. Maybe, maybe he hasn't beat it. Maybe that's the problem. But I'm pretty shocked that Todd's not out there. Uh, it wouldn't be shocking if, if he still has a, if he's still battling it. But another thing, you know, CBS, after this is all over, you go to parties, you get invited to all these things, the drinks on the house, you drink it all you want. Maybe they got together and they said, you know, we don't want to be a part of him relapsing, which is super smart and responsible for CBS. I would just like to see him play again. Uh, you go through things in life and you become stronger, though. You know, just because he did it before doesn't mean he'll do it again. Uh, there's things that, that I've done. Uh, my first three uh, times playing when I finished playing, I just went crazy for about five years. There's no possible way. I don't even do events any longer. I don't do that stuff anymore. So uh, you grow. You become a better person. You, those bad things that you do, if you can make it into something good, like something called wisdom, if you can make that into like, you know what? I need to understand that this is my problem. I need to understand that, that uh, I caused this. And then you fix it yourself. And... Todd may have done that. So it might not even be fair that he's not playing. I don't know his story 
uh, it was pretty public for a while, but now I don't know his story, and hopefully he's doing better. I would love to see him play, but, uh, you know, hopefully he's, he's fighting it, he's beating it, he's getting some wisdom, and he's moving forward with life. Okay, moving to the next one, number four. Uh, Vesepia. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it. She was in season four. I am super shocked she's not playing because she's the first African-American, not woman, she's the first African-American, period, to ever win Survivor. So it's a little shocking that she's not out there. You know, uh, why ain't she out there? It doesn't have nothing to do with her, with her being uh, black or her being, people being white or people being, with her, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Uh, I just, uh, I, they probably didn't want her because she, uh, they thought she wasn't interesting enough. That could be the case sometimes. Uh, I'm shocked she's not playing. I have her number four on my list. I would have liked to see her play again, see what she's doing these days. They don't have her playing. It's pretty shocking, but we'll move on to the next one. Number three, Bob Crowley. How come Bob's not out there? Bob, yes, people made fake idols before Bob, a few, but Bob's fake idols were like real idols. It was some amazing stuff he did. It was one of my most favorite seasons. Uh, I called him recently. I wanted to do a podcast with him. Uh, he hasn't got back with me, but, uh, you know, I always liked Bob. I always liked Bob. Never had no problems with Bob. Uh, you know, like I said, I went a little crazy back in the days uh, of the first four or five years of me getting off the game. I've done some things. I heard a video just the other day, uh, Fair Play, said... Uh, I broke a pool stick and I didn't tip the bartender or something. I don't even remember that. And, you know, I apologize now for, uh, to Fair Play or to whoever, whoever else was involved in all that. Because uh, that's not who I am today. I'm totally a different person. And uh, I, it was embarrassing to hear that I did something like that. And maybe I did something to Bob, you know, because I don't know if he likes me. I don't think he likes me for some reason. Maybe I did something to Bob in a, uh, you know, back in the days or something. Because I guess I don't remember half the stuff I did, which is terrible. It's embarrassing, but it is what it is. I take that and I run. I, I move forward from it. Uh, I, I keep it in my past. I remember it because you better remember it so you don't do that crap again. I move forward from it and I become a better person. I'm a better person because of the things I'd done that wasn't so good, uh, you know, back in the stupid days. So, I, number three, Bob should play again. Season, he was, uh, season 17, Gabon. Uh, maybe he's getting older. I don't know his age. Maybe that's the reason. That's probably the reason because uh, we would all love to see Bob back. This I could replace 10 of the people out there with Bob. That's all of them, <laughs> so, the guys. So, so. I, I would easily see him going out there pretty, uh, being one of the first that you pick. All right, number two, Tina, season two. Where is Tina? Now, again, I heard that Tina got a call and then called back saying that she wasn't uh, going to play. So that tells me she got a call for something else because she was a winner, so she would have... She would have played in winners, you know, because she was a winner. Now, Tina is as memorable as anybody out there. And her not playing is shocking. You know, it's, you know, it's like nobody, everybody's talking about it. Nobody really understands it. She's not playing. Uh, I don't know how old she's getting. She's getting older. But I think they may be saving Tina for another season. So let's keep, keep hope alive and keep watching for Tina. Number one, Richard Hatch. Everybody's talking about why isn't Richard Hatch playing. Richard has even started a YouTube channel that uh, directly tells you why he's not playing, which I think is not correct. Uh, he's, it's not because, uh, it is because of what he done with Sue and all that. And he explains all that, uh, what perception is, of what we've seen, what we think, uh, what happened, uh, that's all that matters. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what he's explaining what really happened. So because of perception is, is most important, then he uh, he's not playing because of what happened on season 39. Uh, 
because it's too close to all that touchy feely stuff and getting naked. Nobody got naked, but he likes to get naked. And he he said on one of his videos, everybody gets everybody's naked around the campfire, and you know you're just naked. It's it's normal. No, you're not. You're never naked. Nobody is ever naked, but Richard Hatch or maybe Tyson. <laughs> but again, Tyson got naked. Uh, they have him back, right? Uh, I think it's how he he's not a yes man either. So you can't control Richard. Now. I think, like I said earlier, I think that they called him for a different season. Then they decided to do winners uh, and make it safe, a bunch of a safer season. Uh, but I don't think Richard's ever going to play now. He's going to go on my list of people that will never play again because he's stabbing himself in the back right now with his new little YouTube channel that has 1,500 subscribers. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, if he has an average of, 4,000 views on each video, he's doing good. Now, I hope the best for him. More, The more uh, survivors with YouTubes, the better. For me. I started the YouTube thing with Survivor, I think. I don't know if anybody has it. I know uh, Johnny has his with his podcast. Rob has his with his podcast, but directly talking to you guys like this. Uh, I think that he's done now. I think that he is killing himself with them YouTube videos. He needs to take them down. He's disrespecting Jeff. He's disrespecting CBS. You can't do that and think you're going to play again. He thinks everybody's stupid but him. Everybody, if you watch his videos, everybody's idiots but him. Well, I, I thought he would play again. I thought he'd be in season 40. I for sure thought he'd be on if they ever do a legend season. Not no more. I don't think he'd even play in Legend season, which is terrible, because I wanted to take him out myself. He did that to himself. So, that's it. All right, guys. That is the list of the players that's not playing again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell uh, so you can know when I drop a video. You can uh, be alerted. And uh, every once in a while, I'm going to put the description in my podcast below in the description no, the description in the description i'm gonna put a link to my podcast so you can go there and check some things out podcast about to get going youtube uh channel is going podcast is going too but uh it's, season starts wednesday i'll be doing my first show after that episode and uh then i'm gonna come on here i'll put it in the description you could check that out and i'm come here and we'll talk about it just like this one on one all right, a one on 13,000. Yes. All right, that's it, guys. That's all I have. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and keep hope alive.